Good afternoon, students. Are you there? Are you there? Hello? Hello. Students, are you able to hear me? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, I was not able to log in. For some reason, the internet connections completely turns, um, just reject, okay? Just completely reject on me. And I'm, I'm sorry that I've been late a little bit, okay? And I hope we have a smooth, uh, a smooth Zoom meeting today. I would like all of you to ask any question before we get started. Any question you may have? Nope, good to go. Ready to go? All right. Let me, um, let me open up the quiz, okay? So I'll let you take quiz first, okay? So students, are you able to see my laptop page? Yeah. yeah, or we can see the desktop, yeah. Okay, are you able to see homepage of my beach board posting? Yes. But, all right, thank you. It has been so rough today. I mean, I was really panicky. <laughs> all right, ready to go? Okay, now as usual, you will submit your answer. This is a multiple choice question, okay? And you will go ahead and write your answer in the Dropbox. Okay, good luck. Um, where are we supposed to put our answers? Yeah, I don't think there's um a Dropbox submission open there. for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Not there. All righty, students, are you almost there? I'll give you one more minute, okay? Let's finish up. Um, I don't believe we have a place to submit our answers. You don't? What do you see in the Dropbox? Uh, just the Spanish stuff. Ah, all right. All right, new folder. Oh, today is uh, Wednesday, I've got deals order. This is section, uh, this is the quiz, okay? And this is section zero two, right? All right, students, go ahead. Wait, Ms. Jane, um, I don't see the quiz. I think the internet crashed or something. I'm using my phone and with the hotspot, I don't see the quiz. I think if you refresh the page, you will see it. 
Well, it's it's still loading. I can show you right now. I'll give you a little bit more time, okay? I just uploaded it. All right, now students, in uh, if you don't, you're not, are you able to see my deals order quiz section two? Hello, students? Yes. Good, yes. so it's there, it's there. Be patient, okay? Uh, I couldn't see it until like after you got back though. <laughs> okay, let me tell you, I think something to do with the air quality today, okay? Yeah, bear with it. Uh, I mean, a lot of the imperfection today, okay? I understand. So are you able to submit it now? Students, are you okay? Hey, I don't hear anything. I'm a little bit worried now. Yeah, yeah uh, I can see where to submit it. I'm still working on the quiz though. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I'll give you another. I'm still working on it too. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't panic. Okay, you're fine. Let me see how many people actually submitted the answer. Let's see. No one. Oh my goodness. Is it that hard? Okay, now students, are you almost there? Are you almost there? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna type in the answers right now. Okay. I'm typing in answers. Good. Okay, are you almost there? I think my internet just crashed. I don't I don't think I can submit it. I'm sorry. I don't it's still loading for the Dropbox. I see. You know something? Um Let me see if you're able to. For some reason, our um, internet speed or the beach board. I think it is more a beach board. This morning, I experienced some difficulties with students uh, answer submitting. Okay. All right, now students, are you, are you done? Are you done with the quiz? I'm submitting. I just submitted. Well, for me, I can't open the Dropbox. I don't know why. For the quiz section four, I cannot open it. All right, now students, can you send me uh, the email then, okay? Okay. You only need to type the letter, right? Yeah, that's why I gave uh, multiple choice, actually. Okay, now students, are you able to see my screen? I'm actually displaying uh, the video from YouTube. Yes. Yes. Great, okay. I will not start uh, yet, okay? I want to see if you're able to um, you know, settle down 
and take a deep breath. Um, professor, really quick for the submission in the Dropbox, um, what file are we supposed to add for the submission? Because it won't let us submit with. <laughs> you can you can put any file you like, even a piece of paper or any file from your your desktop. It doesn't okay. matter. I'm not going to open the file. I just wanted to see the the letter you type in the comment box. There's a comment dialog box, right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, is it possible to do these through the quiz function on Beachboard just to make them a little bit easier? It, it, I can tell you it doesn't really make it easier because I've heard some other stories too, okay? I was just thinking because like it automatically grades it and it's a place where we could see the question and answer it on the same thing instead of having to go back and forth a bunch well, of times. I guess, uh, the, the reason is, um, okay, I, okay I, I like your suggestion, okay? The thing is, I don't really have the energy to upload the quiz question like that onto the beach board. And I'm too busy. I'm just too busy. And that's why, okay? I can only create a file and then, you know, do it the quick and dirty way. But I'll try to look for this solution. I will take your advice, but I'm not able to do that yet. Okay? Well, um, the file I sent, like, I put my answers directly on the quiz file and I just submitted that. Is that fine? That's fine. Okay. All right, students, are we done? Pretty much done with, um... With the quiz, let me let me take a look, okay? Okay, now how come one student submitted to section four? This is section two, right? All right. Uh I, I just are you able to see my screen now? Students, are you able to see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, I want to alert you that any mistake you created at your end, okay, I don't think I'll be able to remember what mistake you make. And then, oh, I will remember to check your quiz uh, in the other section. Okay, so I'll pull, I'll go to another file and then it is just adding too much responsibility to me sometimes, okay? If, because you would never can imagine the workload to make this class virtual 100% to me, because I'm a course coordinator also, the workload compared to the regular semester is 10 times as much, okay? It is 10 times, literally. So, Every day I'm just bristly, bristlessly taking, you know, uh, taking my fastest pace possible to catch up. So if you delay, uh, uh, you know, like small mistake, like you submitted in the wrong Dropbox, or you cannot submit the, the report according to my requirement, the requirement I post online, you just add hurdle to yourself receiving any response in, uh, in timely fashion. Because when I take care of the grading at the same time, I will not remember so many details. Oh, you forgot this, you forgot that, so I need to get, I need to come here to get your answer. No way, it's just too much work, okay? So I want your understanding that please follow my instructions carefully or else it will be just mistake from your end. It take, it will be, you know, like no, no grading possible from my end. And so whenever you said, okay, beach war, then I have to make sure my, you know, the, uh, the beach war uploading is, you know, in a timely fashion, you know, et cetera. It's just an enormous amount of work for me to follow up everything, okay? So uh, try to understand. I mean, we're all going through very difficult time, okay, with, um, with our pandemic situation, okay? 
So uh, I think I've said enough. Okay, and let me get down to the real business now. Uh, what time is it? We are almost, we're almost 2.30. Okay, oh, it's great. I mean, we don't, we don't need to do the physical lab work. And so I'm fine uh, to address the important issue here, okay? And I have to point out, um, I didn't really finish grading your spinach report yet. And the reason is there are some students not being able to submit in time, etc. And I don't want to grade. And then wait another week so I can grade your uh, late report. And I have problem, I have issues grading the report that is not written um, legibly. Okay, and a lot of the answers are submitted in pencil writing. If your pencil writing is not legible, in other words, if you don't write hard enough and get me a clear answer, then I have the zoom and et cetera. It's just impossible to, to grade uh, efficiently, okay? So everything slows down because any hiccup from here and there. And so I really wish from now on, you know, let's try to get the business, uh, you know, straightforward here, okay? Anything you submit, please make sure it's like anyone receiving the file can understand it, okay? Uh, the answer is clear, okay? I don't have to second guess. Oh, this is probably what you meant, okay? Don't want that, okay? Don't have energy for that, okay? And so for deals order reaction today, let me tell you, uh, I don't know whether uh, the lecture professor already covered this chapter in the class 223B. Can you all respond to me? Um, have you already received education in this regard? I'm sorry, for what? Lecture from professor in the lecture class. Did you get it yet? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm confused as to what education you're talking about. Like what, like the dies alder reaction? Heels alder reaction, yes. Have you had uh, the exposure yet? I believe we had a little bit uh, touching on it last semester, or for the first part of it. How about the rest of the class? The reason is I need to see how much education I have to provide today. Uh, if, last semester, yes. Last semester. Okay. All right. So I think you need a bit, uh, maybe a little bit review, right? Okay. All right. No problem. Okay. We'll get going. All right. And let me set up the document camera. Okay, hold on. Um, share screen, advance. Okay, let me set it up. Okay, are you able to see my keyboard? Are you yes. able to see my keyboard? Thank you. Okay, and I'm showing you this page. I believe all of you have read the lab manual and this is actually, okay, written really nicely. Okay. Now students, you have a starting material and this is a butadiene, am I right? A butadiene. And so if you look at this molecule, can you tell me is this is this a low boiling point, low melting point substance, or it's a high boiling point, high melting point substance? A low boiling point? A low boiling point because I don't see polarity here, am I right? Okay, how about this molecule, which is called the malignant hydride? This is called the malignant hydride, okay? Right here. It is a dienophile, we call it diene. This is a diene. Okay, and double bond is usually a very good 
than you know file uh, when i say file means it is loving okay it likes this molecular hydride double bond right here likes diene diene can make new bond okay this is this part this five member ring with two carbon new groups sticking out this coming from this molecular hydride and you are getting new bond established it's a CC single bond, okay? So to see how it goes, I'm pretty sure you all know from here, okay, the front page. Am I right? The, the diene right here and the dienal file, okay, will give a six member ring. Is six member ring a very nice, beautiful ring for in the world of organic chemistry? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Okay. Six member ring gives good, comfortable position between carbon. And oftentimes <clears throat> the bone angle and the um, you know, this the carbon carbon bone angle. Okay keeping each other 120 degrees apart it's a very comfortable position okay all right and i would like to all of you to just use your common sense okay now we are learning this deals order reaction and this is the reaction scheme can anyone tell me right here why does this reaction taking place anyway why, why, why do we make new bond? And what was the driving force? Well, you know, this is a, a reaction that will give you a green light. It will take place, yes, okay. And the uh, molecular nitride coming from the other end and the diene actually, yeah, they are able to create new molecule. What is the driving force here? I think you learned it before. And I want to give you bonus point opportunity by asking you this. Um, I think I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's because uh, like a six a six membered ring is like one of the most like, stable forms, and when you have two of the um, two like the members in the state that they're in, it's it's unstable and they want to like fill their molecular orbitals so they like spring into that position simon i'd like you know the 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 path the pathway um you know you're you're taking this um you're taking this um track of thoughts in the right place you're talking about stability you're talking, you use my information just now. It's a very comfortable six member ring for the carbon, keeping each other 120 degrees apart, this new bond, am I right? And so, Simon, can you keep going and tell me, so what is the driving force when you say stability? You're, you're, are, you are on the right track. I just want you to say it in a more technical term what happened to the system overall system putting the reactants together what happened to the system i'm not gonna lie i don't have the word for it <laughs> don't just, have the don't... word for it but when you mention stability stability for what Like the, the molecular orbitals is what I, I would say personally. And if the so, molecular orbital is not stable, is the energy high or low? Relative. Yes, you're right. Okay, so what is the driving force here? Because it's reaching a more stable state. And what does it mean by stable? Stability in 111a or 111b have you heard of the term gibbs free energy 
okay? So putting them together, you are able to create a product and reach a more stable state. That means it's a lower energy state compared to the starting point. Am I right? Have you learned of that term? Gives free energy, hello? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what is the driving force? It's because this. Remember? What am I drawing this? So it's the extra activation energy. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. Uh, someone mentioned energy. What, what, what energy are you talking about? Uh, the activation energy for any of the chemical processes. This is the activation energy. And the chemical process actually proceeds from a relatively higher energy compared to the product. Am I right? Yeah. The reactant. Okay, I want you to know. Okay. A lot of times when you put two reactants together, but no, no reaction can, can take place. It's just not natural. Okay, number one, there's no new chemical bond that can be formed. Okay, and number two, it is not reaching to a lower energy state. So therefore, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a valid chemical reaction. So I just wanna tell everybody today, this reaction right here, okay? Tell me, is this exothermic or endothermic reaction like this? Uh, exothermic? It's an it's a exothermic. Now, who gave me that answer? Uh, Amanda. Amanda. And Amanda and Simon, can you ask me to give you a bonus point later, okay? This whole process is exothermic. All right. And you may say, Ms. Jean, is it real? Is it real? Yes, tell me. When you make new two, two new bonds, where are the new bonds? Is this a new bond to you? Hello? Is this a new bond? Is this a new bond? Yeah. Uh, no. Wait. This is a new bond. This is a new bond where I provide the yellow highlight. These two new bonds, okay? Now tell me bond formation. Process is it exothermic or endothermic? It is exothermic process. Okay, it's exothermic. Bond formation is exothermic process. Okay, you may not believe it. Oh, Miss Jean, we are heating up the mixture today. Yes, you need to provide the heat because you need activation energy. Understand? And you need to dissolve the reactant. Are you all with me, hello? But overall, the bond formation process is a exothermic process. Imagine hydrogen has one dot. Another hydrogen has another electron dot. They come together and do this. One dot says, I spin clockwise, I have a magnetic field. The other electron says the same. And so when they overlap, they come close together that two dots form a bond. You, do you remember this? And when you form a bond, you draw a line. It is actually because these two dots originally were not very stable. Now they can be more stable compared to before because this electron pair is being commonly shared between that two protons. Do you remember this, hello? Do you remember? Yeah. This is all from chemistry 111A, okay? And for this reason, okay? So why do I have to tell you this? Because this is common sense. Why reaction takes place, okay? Because it's actually reaching a more stable state in terms of gives free energy, okay? All right, and I can keep going now. All right, you are providing Okay, it's not that simple. Okay, our, our diene, oh, it's losing the focus. All right, our diene looks like this today. Okay, our dienophile, have you heard of that term before? Uh, I haven't, no. Yeah, I have. It's called dienophile. This is the diene, am I right? 
Okay. All right. And then so the molecule actually is it's actually just coming from this direction. Okay. And you form that. So I want you to show me in the worksheet, you're supposed to show me arrows. Okay. What happened in order for you to make a new bond? You have to show me this. Okay. All right. On that, I can just show you. Hello, I want to show you the video right away. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so yes. day one is for you to put these two things together, okay? And tell me, are you going to heat it or not heating it? Or this is going to be a room temperature reaction? It starts off at ambient temperature and then we heat it up. Yes. Okay, so why do I have to start at room temperature? How come I don't preheat the oven and then put the, the, the prime rib in? How come I don't pre, preheat the oven? How come I don't preheat? The uh, dyeing will uh, evaporate. Exactly. This dyeing will fly away if you preheat the glassware, okay? You don't do that. You will lose your reactant. You can do that, okay? You want to crop your product at the end. So what is today's product? Which one? Which one? This or this? Uh, uh, the first one. Yeah, that one. This one. Okay. Then we call this addition product. This is the addition reaction. When you kill the double bond, okay, there are three, one, two, one, two, three double bond, and uh, there, there's only one double bond left. So it's an addition reaction. Addition reaction, addition product. This is the stop point of today. And for day two, next week, you will see another reaction that will involve water. And that's not it. Now, can someone help me? Besides water, do I have to put something else here? To catch? Uh, yes. What is it? HCl, or just like one or two drops of it. Two to three, my bad. Thank you. You're right. Simon, you're so, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it is your potential A student right here, okay? You need a cat catalysis uh, by HCO, okay? You may say, Ms. Jing, is this really, really, really absolutely necessary? I can tell you over time, if you leave it long enough, like, you know, how about a couple months, yeah, this hydrolysis can occur, okay? But to speed it up, I want to add HCl, okay? So today you'll stop here and be prepared. I want all of you to write down the numbers associated with the reactant because the TA will show you how many grams he will be weighing, okay? It's not, it's not just exact number like this. And I want you to learn the habit, okay, to record the number from the scale and you report it exactly like that, okay? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Let me show you the reaction now, okay? Okay. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you actually learn something like this. I personally believe, you know, it's um, a very interesting way to learn chemistry. And I wish all of you can ask good questions. And I really reward students for asking questions. Okay, please. Okay. Cyclo addition. Hey, 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 by the way, why do I use this work, cyclo? Hello, what does it mean, cyclo? When it's a ring. ring. Yeah, you actually create a ring, that's why, okay? A six member ring is very comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable, comfortable uh, structure for organic compound. Addition is the word coming from having this double bond eliminated or, or reduced, okay, reduced, okay, let's go. 
write down all the numbers associated with the scale because I will grade your report that way, okay? Now he's weighing the molecular nitride. Oh, yeah, one of the particles. Are, are you sharing the video right now? Oh, I'm not. I see it. Sorry. No. Yeah, we just see the paper. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Hello. You always have to remind me. I sometimes forgot to switch the camera. Okay. Ready? Are you able to see this, the screen? Yeah. Okay. One more time. Cyclo addition. Cyclo, cyclo, cyclo. It makes the carbon, carbon-carbon uh, bond 120 degree in this case. Okay. Coming. Write down the number, okay? How much are we supposed to add? Hello? Um, between 180 and 200 milligrams. So what did you record? Don't, don't say it, okay? I want that number, okay? Depending on... Okay, now students, did you record that number? Can you go back, please? <laughs> It's a top secret. What is the purpose? Scupola to crush What is the purpose of crushing the pellets? So um, can uh, dissolve easier? No. Speak up. What is it? So it can dissolve easier in the, the solvent? Thank you. Thank you. Vu, come back to and, and ask for one point, okay? Of course. Vu, tell me. Dissolve easier this way. Why? There's more surface area. For exactly. I like that answer. It's just perfect. Showing you, I mean, students really have great potential here. Um, Professor, just a quick question. Yeah. Uh, so the weight that we recorded, um, that was for the malaic anhydride, right? Yeah. All right. So that's not like something that goes in our problem set. It's just something that we're looking at when we're doing our calculations. You will, do, you will use that number for calculation. Yes. You need to calculate the yield. All right, thank you. The actual grams you want to report, okay? Later, and percentage yield. Did I ask you what is the purpose of PEG 200? What is it? An organic solvent. What does PEG stand for? Polyethylene glycol. All right, now Simon, you're too good. I want to know any students here know anything about what glycol is? What is a glycol? Anyone here looked up the the structure? Why do we do you guys care at all? 
<laughs> um, so it's like the OH, and then there's the um, ethylene with like the oxygen, and then on the other side, the hydrogen. So what, what, what is the function of group of glycol? Uh, alcohol. Thank you. We're using a long chain alcohol. Long chain. Okay. When I say poly, that means uh, there are many, many repeating units of ethylene glycol. Okay. So between the OH, how many carbons are there? Between oxygen, how many carbons are there? Can someone else help, help answer the question? I know Finn, you're good. Simon's really good. Vu, very good. Okay. I'm giving you one point each. Can anyone else help me? Between the oxygen, how many carbons are there? Read the, the term PEG means polyethylene glycol. So how many carbons are in between the OH? Two carbons. How many? Two. Catherine, bingo. Yes, if we say, yes, if we say, uh, you know, there as ethylene, that means there are two carbon. Okay, students, please wake up, okay? I know you probably, you know the answer, but you are not comfortable telling me the answer. I have to tell you, you all want to compete for job in the future, am I correct? You are going to be working in the job market, am I right? You join industry, et cetera, or you join hospital, OK? If you want to stay quiet for your whole entire life, I can guarantee you don't get promotion in your whole life, OK? You just don't get promotion at all because we don't know what you're thinking. We don't know whether you have the ability or not. I am serious, OK? All right, let me keep going. So how much PEG are we adding? Hey, I wonder if students are here. No. Two milliliters. I'm sorry? Two milliliters. Are we adding two or one? One. It's one mil. It is one mil. Very good. But the TA actually weigh roughly maybe three or four, but he will use the amount from four ml and then down to three. This is how he, he did it, okay? He, he didn't pour, okay? Roughly, roughly. The amount is not that critical, okay? Wait a minute, he did use a lot. Give me a break. He's trying to make sure this is, uh, you know, there is enough solvent there is enough solvent to dissolve it. You try to speed up, okay? All right, now, what is this again? It is the butadiene. Add diene by syringe. Butadiene is added by syringe. How come I don't weigh it on the, how come I don't use the graduate cylinder and then pour? Tell me, why? Hello? You get more control with the syringe? You get more control? But be more specific. Why do I have to have such a control? Of course, the amount needs to be controlled this way. Okay? But... Because you are using a smaller amount, so you have to add the... Um, you have just have to add it more carefully? Yes, this is, yes, one way to say it. But try to understand, there's some, uh, something about diene that we need to control the amount carefully. What is it? Ivy, you're almost there. Ivy, are you there? Yes, I'm just thinking about your question. Yeah. 
it seems to me I'm, I'm using syringe not just to control the amount I want to add in. Of course, this syringe will give you, you know, the reading on the volume, okay? But there's one thing, one other thing, I don't want to pour. Why, why is that? I don't want to pour. Is it maybe due to like its instability? Instability? Be careful with that word. Why instate? Why unstable? What happened if you are not using syringe? Instead, you you're pouring. You, you think it's so unstable. What 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 is it about dying that I need to be more careful not to pour? What is it? It's written in the lab manual. It's written in my course packet. And I say that again and again. When I ask you why, you know, why in this reactant there is a low boiling point substance? Why do I have to say that? Is it because <laughs> when it, it might react with the solvent and evaporate before you want it to? It will evaporate. Don't say react. It will evaporate quickly. Okay. Okay. Now, students, you may say, Miss Jean, you're so nasty. All the time you're asking something, I don't care. Okay. You can complain everything about Miss Jean. Okay. I can tell you when we run this experiment the first time, according to the lab procedure written as this, without me adding that paragraph, in the course packet. And we ran this class with how many students in total? 200 that semester, the first semester. Guess what? The yield from 200 students, you know what the yield is? Less than 0.5 grams. I'm talking about 200 students produce nothing, most of them. Zero, zero grams of the product. Why? Because we didn't take care of the volatility of the diene. Do you hear me? Do you hear me, hello? Yes. Okay. Tell you what, you will hate the experiment. If you put in so many hours and then you realize the yield is zero in your beaker or in your herbal liner or in your round bound flask, you collect nothing. You will hate this experiment, okay? And I tell you, when we run it the first time, among 200 students, we collect less than 0.5 grams. From 200 students, can you imagine the yield is just super low, almost like zero to everybody, okay? For this reason, I'm telling you, okay? We are making a product in such a careful fashion. Uh, 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 sorry, in such a care, careful caution, taking care of every step, okay? Yeah, he's showing you, I only want to add diene, that very volatile substance, okay? And he's pointing upwards, okay, getting rid of the bubble. Then he inject. Inject. All right. And how many ml did I suggest to you about the amount? What about is the two, huh? About two milliliters. Two ml. I can tell you that syringe itself is 0.5 ml each. So he gave four shots, okay? All right, reaction setup. Okay, as soon as he added the diene, he put the condenser right away on top of it. Tell me what's the reason again? Why do we need a condenser? Hello? Why can't I just, why can't I just uh, heat it with, with the opening? If with you heat it with the opening, then the diene will evaporate. So yeah, the diene would not evaporate this way. Okay. Please read the procedure carefully, okay? I added the diene, the last, am I right? And right after you add the diene, you wanna put the condenser 
on top right away so that Dai Ying does not fly away. Are you all with me? Are you all falling asleep? I bet you, I can tell you, I probably want to make this a question in the final, okay? See if you care to know it. Okay, now the, yeah, look at that. Right away, I want the condenser on. Okay, I, okay, now the TA wants to make sure, hey, I need to control the temperature of the water. Okay, we want water bath. I don't want the heat directly coming from the hot plate. Again, I want a very mild, slow heating rate. What is the reason again, hello? I want a very slow heating rate. Why is that? Because if I heat it too fast and jump the temperature too fast to high temperature, is it good or bad? Bad. bad. It's really bad. You will lose your very precious butadiene and then you create no product. Okay. All right. Now, one more time. When you connect the water hose, how does the water come in from the bottom or from top? Do you remember? I guess none of you care to be a detective in the future, huh? You don't pay attention to details. It, it'll condense and go down. And so tell me, how do you want to connect the water hose? Water in coming in where? Here or the lower? Top or lower? It, it'll come to the bottom. How does water come in from low? The water goes in from the bottom. Lower, yes. Who said that? Catherine. Catherine, you win another point, okay? You care about the, yes, you care about the details. Is this a common sense to chemists? Yes, okay? Because let me tell you, this is the hottest zone, the hottest spot besides the floss, okay? This is a hot area. And I want to kill the temperature right there, okay? That's why water comes in here. Understand? Hello? Yeah. You don't care. Okay. You don't care. Fine. You don't want to learn then. All right. Water outlet. Okay. Connect it. Stir, slow, heat from room ten to this temperature. Stir, of course, you want to stir, so it mix and dissolve. Slow heat, so that I don't lose the diene. I have to start from room ten. I don't want to preheat the water because I don't want to lose my diene. Okay, 60, 70, yes. This is the temperature where I can provide enough activation energy, okay? Okay, you see this pellet, okay, pre-ground stir, okay? It becomes clear. Okay, now tell me, when the reaction mixture turns clear, is this good news or bad news? Good news, I think. Is this a good news or bad news when the reaction mixture turns clear? It says, no, the, the TA says, the reaction mixture become clear. Is this a good news or bad news? I imagine it'd be good news because that's like what's supposed to happen when it comes to the reaction progressing. It turns clear without pellets there. So what does it mean? Everything dissolved, am I right? Am I right? This is what it yeah. means when everything dissolved. 
And you may say, machine, is it possible to have reaction when the pellet stays as a pellet? I can tell you, reaction will be super slow. You think you can react to solid, huh? You can't, okay? Only in the solution, you can guarantee a good reaction rate. Understand? And by the way, I wonder, 19 people, 18 people here, are you all sleeping or? Hey, can you turn on the, 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 the cam, the webcam? I want to make sure you're not sleeping here. Okay. All right. Now, students, I really feel uncomfortable if you don't respond. Anyway. Uh, I think, Professor, most of the time it's because we're trying to think of the answer to the question because it's not something that, at least for me, like I know right off the bat. So I have to think about it for a second. And yes. it usually takes more than a couple seconds to generate an answer. Thank you, Simon. You know, I need to, I need to always stimulate you. Okay, let me tell you, viewing the video, there's nothing wrong with the teaching material, okay? It is the attitude of the students that will make a big difference. When you're not the one doing it, you don't know what's going on, okay? Unless you follow, yeah, my attend, I mean, you know, my alarming comment. Look at this, look at that, okay? It is dissolving. So we want to dissolve because you want reaction to kick off. Without kicking off, you get, you get no product. And how do you make sure the reaction is kicking off? You make sure all the reactants dissolve first, okay? Okay, we only need to run 30 minutes. Take a part, okay? He's done. Oh, we can't see the video. Oh, uh, my goodness. Then I have to replay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Sorry. What did I do? Oh, 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 oh. The, the TA is, is really doing too fast. Can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see yeah. the video? Okay time. Oh, connect. Okay. Of course, you don't want water to leak. Stir slow heat from room 10. I don't want to preheat it. Okay. I want the, the heat to provide some activation energy. Reaction turns clear. Okay. After 30 minutes, done. Just taking it apart. Oh, by the way, I want to give you some inside information about this film, uh, the filming process, the filming event in the summer. The TA we selected for demonstration, he won the best TA award uh, in the department. Okay. On top of that, his master's thesis won the outstanding thesis in the department. You guys are really lucky. His hands, just magic. His hands-on skills, just magic, okay? You guys are lucky. He's so good. So stable. Outstanding. All right. Pour reaction mixture into roughly 50 ml of water. All right, now students, sit back. Let me ask you a question. 
I want to pour the reaction mixture into water. And I want you to observe carefully, okay? Deep breath. I want to pause right here because I will call this the moment of truth. You know why I say that? Because if you don't see precipitation, that means you didn't create a product. Your product will not dissolve in water. Once again, the product will not dissolve in water. One more time, the product will not dissolve in water. Why is that? Why it's is your product not polar. in water? Because it's non-polar. It's almost the vector from the dipole moment almost cancel out each other, okay? So who says the product is almost non-polar? Who said that? I said Natalie. Natalie, thank you. We get another point. Wait a minute, what's your last name? Jackson. Okay. Thank you. Excellent, excellent answer, okay? Because your addition product, we call cyclo addition product, does not want to dissolve in water much because light dissolve light. Okay, in order to collect precipitate, you want a very hostile solvent, a very hostile, meaning totally, totally opposite. Look at that. So is this good news or not? You are seeing the white powder precipitate. Good news or not? Yes, it good. Yes. That's good news. That means you made the product. I, I can tell you the first time 200 students run the experiment, okay, without paying attention to the heating process, without paying attention to the condenser, etc., without using the syringe, etc. The yield was almost zero, okay? And everybody hated it. Top view. Suction filtration, hello, tell me. What do you call this? There's a white thing here, what do you call this? Uh, vacuum filtration funnel. What is the official name? <laughs> is that a Buchner funnel? funnel? Say that again. Is that a Buchner funnel? Yes. Ivy gets one point. Thank you. It's called Buchner funnel. Is Buchner, uh, Buchner funnel the best funnel for the section filtration? The answer is yes. And it provides a flat surface, right? Okay, and then you put a filter paper inside, right? Then you pour your solution, right? And then after you pour it, tell me where's your product? Is it gonna be in the Buchner or it will be here? In the- It will be on top. I'm sorry, say that again? It will be on top of the filter. Gabriella, thank you. And tell me, tell me Gabriella, uh, let me see your last name. Where, where, where's your, where, where's, where, what is your last name, hello? Martinez. Martinez, thank you. All right. You want to collect your product in the business, so why do we want this flat surface? Why do we want, hey, what is the purpose? We, we want to do something here, okay? And can someone offer me, what is your experience with Buchner funnel? What do you do? Are you just collecting it and then that's the end? And then you just take it apart and then you do nothing? Is this what happened? You measure the product after that's left over? Yeah, of course you have to measure the grams, but what do you do inside here? Hey, we create such a shape. I mean, the, the whoever, the chemist, this design the, the funnel this way with the reason. Can someone offer me an answer? 
what is the reason we want to design? I mean, what do you do inside a building funnel? Besides collecting the solid, you do one thing, one more thing. You know what that is? You dry it. Well, drying it, of course, you try to dry it. Besides, there is another purpose. You want to uh, break up some of the, uh, the product so you get the water moving through it? You want to break up and do one thing at the same time. You break it up and do one thing. What is it? Ryan, keep I going. It's precipitate. Yes, it's precipitate. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. It, yeah, it is pre precipitate, so it will not go through the filter paper. But you do one thing inside you, you. Oh, you. Yeah, you want to wash it. Yes, Ryan. Very good. Now you get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I want students. Although you're not doing the work, I want you to pretend you are actually doing the work. Understand? Mm -hmm. Understand? Do you do you appreciate this training process right here? I can, yeah. I can tell you, Miss Jean can also, I can cross my leg, okay, sitting on my desk, I just play it and then I don't say anything and you don't learn anything, do I care? I can tell you I saved my energy too, am I right? But why am I beating you up? Hey, think, think, why we want to do this and why do we want to do that? Why do we want to set up the Bufna? Because you want to wash the crystal, okay? I can tell you, you have a drainer right here. You have a filter paper right here. And your crystal are actually collected on top of the filter paper. But you want to wash it, understand? It's just like sending, sending a, you know, a, a, you know, a, a princess to a party, a royal party. You want to give that princess a good shower. That's it, OK? All right, now tell me, what is this uh, piece of glass? On the right hand side, what is it? A vacuum chamber. Mm, yeah, it's a vacuum chamber. What, for what purpose? For decoration? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hey, why also to, to bring all the like all the liquid down from the precipitate? What is the purpose of this glass jar? To give the air a little bit more space so that it's not as pressurized when you're doing the um, suction. Simon, it is not for pressure purpose. It is for some other reason. You want to protect something. What is it? Okay, now students, I want to alert you, okay? This vacuum trap we call is there just in case. Any re for any reason, for any, I mean, for any mistake that is caused by the, you know, the, the, the students performing the work. If the liquid, just in case this uh, filtering flask we call, is not being positioned perfectly. Or if there's too much filtrate, but the students is not, is not paying attention to it and it actually flooded up, that liquid will go through the black holes and then attack a vacuum pump right away. For this reason, there's always a need to install a vacuum trap in the train. Do you hear me? Okay, this is to protect the pump, the vacuum pump. Okay, all right, we'll see. We'll see more is coming. Okay, oh, collecting the white salt suction filter until dry. Oh, yeah, that liquid sucked down. See, he's trying to break it apart. Okay. And usually we want to shower, shower the crystal. So the crystals are clean. Now tell me, what do you recommend if, if you want the TA too? Okay, now before I give you the grams, if, what do you recommend to give a shower right here? What would you recommend for solvent? 
one bonus point. In case I want to give a shower, what is a good solvent to shower to make it clean? Um, maybe just water because it doesn't dissolve in water. Thank you, Simon. You're so right. Now, if I ask you, do you want hot water or do you want cold water? Simon? Cold water. Cold water. Cold water will be excellent for not dissolving the for not for not threatening the yield, am I right? Okay, gotcha. Okay, today I can tell you a lot of students actually learned uh, quite a few bonus point being issued. Okay, now keep going. Okay, now he's gonna record the grams. Hey, is your pencil ready? Is your pencil ready? Yes. Yeah. So the TA is transferring the solid over. Okay. Like it? Yes, he's trying to empty it out. Okay. I think, hey, a lot of times. Okay. All right. I'm not going to tell you what the number is. Hello. I can tell you this number here is, it can be a little bit high. Okay. Regardless, I just want you to record it. Okay, the reason is the solid is still wet. And you may say, Machine, how come we don't wait until it's dry and wet? Because we're filming it in the summer. We don't have time to wait for it. Okay, understand? So this number, grams of the, of the final product may, may be really, really super high. But so be it. Record it. Okay? Are you here? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Now, spirit, let me do this. Um, I think I can stop right here. I can play the second part of the film next time. Okay. So we're at eight. Okay. A stop point is eight minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. And I will continue part two next time. And when I do part two, I want, I want to review a little bit dial, uh, deals order reaction. Okay, do you hear me? Yes. So that I can reward you with some bonus point. Do you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm because I don't want you to sit here, okay? Uh, a lot of you just don't care to participate. It's really not good. I would like everybody to get involved next time. When I introduce more theory, when I talk about deals order reaction, when I talk about, um, you know, uh, more, more details in the experiments, I want all of you to, to join the discussion. Okay, if I just play the video to you without saying anything, you, I, I don't think you can learn. Okay, and you may say, machine, is deals all the reaction a very important reaction? I can tell you, yes. For any new carbon carbon bond created and molecule can be invented um to help pharmaceutical industry to discover new drug new drug molecule and then in the future there will be some drug molecule for for example cancers so is this important yes 
I can tell you this reaction has been utilized in my industrial career. And I was involved in F22, the development of F22. Anyone knows what F22 is? Hmm. Students are not exposed to political news or, you know, F22 means fighter. 22 is the model number. Okay. F, whenever it says F is a fighter. Do you know what fighter is? The jet? Yeah, it's a very fast beat aircraft. Okay. It's, it's supposed to be faster than the jet. Okay. All right. And F22, it, official name is stealth aircraft. And stealth means S, okay, now spells S T E A L T H, stealth, meaning it is not detectable under radar. Do you know what radar is? Uh, you don't care. But anyway, military aircraft fighter, okay, it is supposed, supposed to be really, really fast speed, okay? Um, and if the aircraft itself is not detectable by the radar, then the enemy will never know where you come from. Okay. And you appear all of a sudden, okay. in a fighter and destroy, uh, the enemy. Okay. Destroy, uh, you know, in the, in the past we use fighter also, uh, in, in the mission to golf course. Okay. To the war against Iraq, etc. And let me give you, let me share with you that I was involved in F-22, development of F-22. And I developed new composite material, okay, used in the aircraft, the fighter aircraft. And it has to be lightweight. So guess what? I used this compound called bismolite emit, and when it react through these other reaction, it just make the material strong, stronger. Creating new bond actually make this material stronger. Okay, so when I view this experiment, I really view the fighter. Okay because I have been through the development of F-22. And this is the key reaction that goes to the composite. You may say, Mr. Yin, what is the composite? Okay, composite is like using uh, like carbon fiber. It's just like my black hair, very long carbon fiber. Okay, like glass fiber, okay. If you put the fiber together and you weave the fiber in certain pattern and then you pour glue on top of it. And then you make the glue hardened like crazy glue at room temperature. Okay. Or you apply a little bit amount of, of heat and you harden the glue then that fiber not only being woven together it also got glued together by the adhesive you chose we call binder the binder resin and so what was miss jean doing i developed the f22 resin that utilized these other reaction to bind the fiber together and that is the Composite material contributing to F22. And you may say, Ms. Jean, you are joking, and I'm not joking. I have two patents there, okay? Just for your information. So I can tell you, if you if I ask you, this order reaction, is this important? Yes, okay? It actually is it's a big, big composite material used by military purpose. Are you with me? Hello? Yeah. You like it? Do you like the application? Yes. 
Let me yeah, tell you, really cool. during the second semester, you're gonna hear, oh, from Miss Jean. Oh, uh, yes, I can, I can really talk to you about industry, okay? Every single reaction you learn here is important because it means money. It means a lot of very important military application or industry uh, uh, application or pharmaceutical application, etc. Okay? And I hope you enjoy it. Are you going to like it? Tell me, are you going to like it? You, you better like it, okay? <laughs> for the... Uh, for better or for worse, I mean, you need to learn it in order to pass the class. Am I right? Okay. And I will, I will stop right here. And I think for next week, I want all of you to study a little bit more uh, about the deals order. So I can interact with you. I can, I can talk about, I can talk about the reaction. I can talk about more examples of the reaction. Okay. I can talk about the hydrolysis and I will ask all of you to participate. I just don't want students build the habit of you know, sitting uh, on, on the chair and then, and then as if you know, you're, you're totally irrelevant to it. Let me tell you, you're not doing any physical work. And if you don't even want to say one thing during one, the whole entire semester, I wonder if you, you really care to learn, okay? All right, I'll say goodbye for now. Any question here? If not, I'll see you next week. Yeah. Is the worksheet due next week? Yes. It's always, okay. yeah. It is always day two, unless it is specified the other way. I think for NMR, we probably give you two weeks to, to do it. Okay. But mostly, you, uh, mo most of the experiments you will submit it to day two at the end, and it's five o'clock. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And so you are welcome to work on the questions in the back, okay? Now students, okay, those who are being quiet, okay? I please be more uh, active. And uh, today I really want to thank Simon, Amanda, and Natalie Jackson. I think I miss Finn. Is Finn here? Yeah, Amanda Finn. Amanda, oh God, wait, oh God. Okay, and then Ivy, Martinez, Marks Ryan, okay, and then Catherine, and then uh, Nathan Vu, you all get bonus point. Did I miss anyone? If not, I'll say goodbye then, all right? Students enjoy it, okay? I can tell you, yeah, this is uh, okay, chemist, create new materials, okay? Professor. Yeah. Um, do you want us to write in pen instead of pencil? Would, be, would that be better for you? Actually, yes, you need to write legibly, okay? That will include making it clear. What I was complaining about is some people gave me very light pencil writing. I barely see anything. And I can tell you, in that case, I can't grade your report. Then you don't get, you don't get points. And you may say, how come, Miss Jean, how, how come you don't zoom it? I try zooming it, okay? Because the image is so dark. I, oh my goodness. If I grade your report and I have to spend three hours, do you think I would care to take that three hours this way? I don't want to use my time that way, okay? That's my point. So if you want to use an ink pen, you're welcome to do it, but make sure you are able to present the answer nicely. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.